now we can alert text value okay so we're just using get element ID and then we're putting value on the end so let's just test if that works let's refresh we'll type in test click submit and it's not working so let's uh, go back and see what we might be doing wrong perhaps if we change the value of this so I could say uh, insert a text say insert text dot value let's refresh that type in test click submit no nothing okay let's try um, var and let's try and refresh test Submit. Nope. Oh, I think I can see the problem. Um, we need to change this to ID as opposed to name uh, because we're getting element by ID. So let's change this back to text just to keep things simple. And um, we can also change that back to text there and we can remove that. We don't need to declare it as a variable. So let's try and refresh and see if this works. Hopefully it does, then we can proceed with our code. No, it hasn't. So. Uh, let's just go back to how we were so id um, insert text and insert text okay so let's come and refresh test no um, okay well I can see the problem um, I need document dot get element by ID obviously so um, so yeah so uh, now this is fixed let's go and preview this in our browser so I'm going to type test in here click on submit and nothing's working uh, this is annoying uh, insert text uh, let's change this back to name because I think that might be the problem now um, let's refresh uh, test no so document dot get element ID value insert text and get rid of that and let's change let's see if that works nope okay so maybe this to ID refresh and a or w or something okay so right I wish I was better at JavaScript but I'm really not so um, please forgive me for that okay so I uh, there's probably uh, lots of you screaming at the at the screen at that point telling me what I was doing wrong so now we've tested our value we know how to get our value uh, eventually we've got this um, element by ID insert text um, I'm actually going to change this back to text now because uh, I'm going to keep things simple for the purposes of the tutorial. Uh, so again, whatever we type in here, uh, we are just displayed to the screen in the text box. Um, for now, that's just for testing purposes. So let's get rid of that. After all that hard work, let's get rid of it. Okay, so now let's go into creating um, our uh, jar, our sorry, our uh, Ajax itself. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say. Um, Let's come in here and say if window dot and we basically need to specify um, for different types of browsers which um, which method we're going to use to create our XML HTTP variable or rather what we're going to set it to. So we say if window dot XML HTTP request uh, and then we come down and we do something um, if that's uh, if, if that's uh, true otherwise we do something if that's false so what would we do if it's true well we set a variable called xml um, sorry xml http equal to a new xml http request so essentially what we're doing is we're checking for this first inside the window um, and then we're creating it if it's true so um, um, that's just for different browser support otherwise we want to say XML HTTP equals new and we want to create a new active X object um, and the parameter that's um, that we put into here is Microsoft dot XML HTTP now bear in mind while I'm writing this code that everything I'm writing is case sensitive so for example this uh, XML HTTP request object is in capitals for XML and then a capital H, small TTP, a capital R, and then the 
uh, rest of request is small. So ensure that for everything you write inside of here, it's uh, bear in mind that it's case sensitive. So uh, if you end up with it not working, just double check the case next to what I've done.